Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is as always Defub21 and today today I have a video game trailer for you. This is in my a trailer I've already looked at and in my opinion it is the single worst trailer of E3 2017. This is a trailer that was shown at one of the press conferences. Uh, I'll, uh, I'm not going to tell you any more about it. I'm just going to let you look at it, and then I'm going to tell you. Then I'm going to tell you why I think it's the worst trailer of this year's E3, and certainly, pro quite probably, may well end up being the single worst trailer of the year. So, without any further ado, let's take a look, and then I shall uh, vent my spleen. Where's your master? I don't deal with domesticated. Hey, the fuck? I ain't got no master, but I do have your little toy. <laughs> Show me the idol. Show me the redeemer. Here you go, mate. Oh. Hey, Jim. Yo, 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 hand it over. I got a hot date who don't do late. <laughs> Monkey's got a date. Ah. Mwah. Wh what? 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 That's Swiss fucking chocolate, pig. <laughs> bon appetito. Fucking cop in this fucking city after that fucking bastard! <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Moksha. Just as Yama described it. True freedom lies beyond. Well, there you have it. What I believe to be by far the worst tra uh, trailer of E3 2017. Now, you might be thinking, well, this is an amazing looking trailer and it's for a game that there's, you know, major hype about beyond good and evil 2. How could this be a bad trailer? 
Well, for some background, for those who don't know, the original Beyond Good and Evil was a game that came out, I believe it was on the PlayStation 2, maybe the GameCube, maybe the original Xbox, I can't remember. It was made by Michel Ancel, I want to say, probably mis mispronouncing his name. He's French. It was Ubisoft who developed it and published it. Um, I don't believe it was a particularly successful game commercially at the time, but it did get an awful lot of quite positive reviews. And the kind of the gaming press has continued to talk the game up um, ever since. Now, and there has been sustained kind of as a result of that building up kind of momentum, you know, fan slash, you know, games media press pressure on Ubisoft uh, to make another one as the game has become more and more part of kind of the video game industry's mythology and video game fandom's mythology, the way uh, Shadow of the Colossus has as an example or as another example. Um, my problem with this and why it's the worst trailer of E3 is because this is not the first time Ubisoft has done this. They've done this twice. Um, in in the ripe old uh, year of 2008, no less, at that year's E3, Ubisoft pulled the exact same stunt. They had an announcement trailer for Beyond Good and Evil 2. It was all CGI just like this one, no gameplay. Uh, just CGI uh, announcing the game was in development and up until up until this year's E3 in 2017 uh, quite literally literally just 12 months shy of eight years later this is the first official comment we've gotten from uh, from Ubisoft about Beyond Good and Evil 2 so in other words they announced the game was in development almost a decade ago and yeah, almost 10 years ago. It's been nine nine years and a bit. And, yeah, 12 months shy of, of, a, of a decade ago. And, you know, again, nothing from them since. The game, if it was in development, it got cancelled or stopped. And they've been effectively kind of leading, you know, both the game's media press and the kind of the gamer fan bases around, around by the nose on this ever since. There was no confirmation after that trailer in 2008 that the game's development had been stopped or slowed or cancelled. And um, there was literally just nothing out of Ubisoft in that time frame. There were leaks and, and rumours and all the rest. But it was pretty much agreed that the game that if the game had been in development at all, it probably was only in kind of comparatively early development and at some point the game's development was stopped temporarily and or cancelled. Um for for Ubisoft to turn up uh, at this year's E3 in 2017, again, only 12 months shy of 10 years after the, the last CGI trailer announcement that this game was in development with another CGI trailer. Except this time the game is a prequel rather than a sequel, like it was in, implied in 2008. Uh, apparently involving a extremely sweary, uh, genetically engineered sentient monkey or ape, chimpanzee, whatever he happens to be. Um, you know, apart from that, it's pretty much the same bloody thing all over again. Um, we have not seen any in-game footage. Certainly none's been made, made available to the public. I don't know if the certain select games media people have seen the game in action. I don't know. But the fact is, is that this is the second time Ubisoft has pulled this. The game might be in de might have been in development for six months. It could have been in development for a year or two. We have no idea, and we certainly have no idea when it's coming out. The game's ambitions might turn out to be too much for current generation hardware, and development might be stopped or postponed. You know, you know this game. You know it. This is you know you don't. To my again to my mind. Um, Nintendo pulled this as well to a lesser degree in that they effectively announced a mainline Pikmin RPG for the Switch and Metroid, Metroid Prime 4, where both games were in development and probably at least a year or more away from being released. They had no gameplay footage to show. They had no, they had nothing to show, basically. And this is more, this is even, this on an even greater scale um, from Ubisoft, a worse scale from Ubisoft because they pulled this stunt, you know, almost 10 years ago. Um, you don't, the days of turning up with a CGI trailer and no game footage or, you know, or footage rendered in-engine 
of a game you're just announcing that could be where you have no idea when it's coming out. Those days at E3 are over. You can't do that anymore. Does it mean you have to play, be like Bethesda and announce Fallout 4 in the same year it's coming out? No. But it's kind of just just bait and switchy, you know, you know, <sighs> It's it's the worst kind of behavior you could, in my to my mind, you could possibly pull, particularly by a major publisher at uh, at E3, and I have zero confidence that this game is going to be out. Not just that this game is coming out, that, that this game is going to come out in the next year or two. I have zero confidence this game is coming out this console generation. Um, I have literally none at all. This is it's the worst kind of. You know, how much money did they spend developing that, tra you know, that tra CGI trailer? That was not something that, you know, that that took time and money to do. And I, again, you know, if you know if Ubisoft wanted a wow moment at their conference, you know, there were, there were better ways they could go around about doing it. Like, oh, I don't know, having a game, you know, that was ready to actually show off um, and, you know, and play in front of people. Um, but yeah. I mean, again, I'm just ranting at this stage, but it's just, it really is kind of ridiculous uh, behavior. Um, it's its bait and switch. It's, most, again, due to the multi-year nature and highly complex nature of modern AAA games development, if, the, if you don't see gameplay footage, the game doesn't exist because it could have been in development for 12 months, it could have been in development for three or four years, and it could just get cancelled like that, and you never hear or see it again. Even if you do actually get to see gameplay, that can still happen. And for Ubisoft to pull that at the end of what was all things considered a somewhat successful conference, particularly considering how people's expectations for the kind of Mario slash plus Raving Rabbits game uh, were pretty much blown away, though the expectations were pretty low for what is effectively a turn-based kind of XCOM-type strategy game that could be very interesting and very entertaining. But um, ending the conference with that... I know Michelle and Sally seem to be, you know, a bit tearing up there at the end, announcing it. But fundamentally, I have zero confidence that game is coming out any time in the foreseeable future, or even in this console generation. And it was, to my mind, shitty of Ubisoft to pull the exact same stunt they pulled 10 years ago, or almost 10 years ago. And you got to remember, the guys at the top of Ubisoft are the same dudes who were in charge back then. You know, those two, I can never remember the names, they're brothers. Uh, one of them was at the press conference. I can never remember their names. You know, they've done this before. Um, it's... Yeah. <sighs> Exacerbating, frustrating, and that kind of thing is kind of a bad... You know, it was one of the worst elements of the industry five or ten years ago, and they really do need to stop it. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm I'm at the point where if it's if a game isn't coming out in the next two, it, this year or next year, don't announce it at E3. And if you do an answer, you got to have gameplay. Anyway, this is Defub21. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, whether I'm right or wrong. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, please subscribe to my channel for more scintillating content like this. And uh, please like the video. This is, again, Defub21. Uh, very frustrated. Signing off. Toodaloo.